Hi everyone and welcome to the next Orca lesson. Today we're going to be learning about the cold polar regions and this is the first in a set of three lessons about wildlife of the polar regions. My name is Anna and I work for Orca. Orca are a whale and dolphin conservation charity who are dedicated to the protection of whales, dolphins and porpoises and their homes in waters around the UK and the rest of the world. Our vision is oceans alive with whales and dolphins. So firstly, let's look at where the polar regions are. Well, they are the regions of our wonderful planet that surround the North Pole or the South Pole. And these regions are within the polar circles, so the Arctic Circle or the Antarctic Circle, and they are in high latitudes. So the polar habitats are located at the very top and the very bottom of the Earth. So looking at this map of the world, can you point out the Arctic? And can you point at the Antarctic? So the Arctic Circle is north, that's at the top of the Earth. And the Antarctic Circle is south, so at the bottom of the Earth. And within the Arctic Circle is the Arctic region with the North Pole right in the middle of that region. And within the Antarctic Circle is the Antarctic, with the South Pole right in the middle of the Antarctic region. But despite being complete opposite ends of the Earth, they have many similar characteristics. Firstly, they are both very cold. The coldest thing in our household is the freezer, and that gets to about minus 15 degrees Celsius, so very cold. But the polar regions are much, much colder. So let's have a look at this table here. So you can see that the average winter temperature in the Arctic is minus 34 degrees, with minus 40 degrees in the Antarctic. But summer temperatures can reach plus temperatures, so up to 12 degrees in the Arctic and 10 degrees in the Antarctic. And the coldest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was minus 89.6 degrees, and that was recorded in 1983 at a research station. And minus 68 degrees in the Arctic. Brr, that's really chilly. So you can see that overall, the Antarctic is colder than the Arctic. And the main reason why the Antarctica is colder than the Arctic is that the Antarctica is a continent surrounded by a huge open ocean, while the Arctic is an ocean almost completely surrounded by land. For example, Greenland and Russia and parts of North America. The Arctic sea ice is relatively thin compared with the Antarctic and it has water, not land, underneath it. But Antarctica, as a continent, does have land underneath it. So while the water underneath the Arctic is not warm, it usually stays around zero degrees Celsius, it's often much warmer than the air above the ice. So some of this heat makes its way through the ice into the air, making the air temperature slightly warmer. But the Antarctic is covered by a few thousand feet of ice, and all the snow and ice covering the continent reflects most of the Earth's light and makes Antarctica the coldest place on Earth. So not only are they very cold, but these areas are also very windy. In fact, Antarctica is the windiest place on Earth. And winds have been recorded at 185 miles an hour on the coast. It's a land of blizzards and snowdrifts. In the Arctic, wind speeds average about 50 miles an hour, although quite often they reach hurricane strength, which is about 64 miles an hour. And the wind also adds to the wind chill factor, making the air feel even colder. And in these areas, there's lots of snow and lots of ice. So that's some similarities between the polar regions, but there are understandably differences too. As we know, the Arctic is mostly an ice-covered ocean, but the Antarctic has mountains and volcanoes. 
and that means that the Arctic is an ocean surrounded by continents and countries, such as um, continents of Asia, North America and Europe, and countries such as Greenland and Iceland. But the Antarctic is land, it's a continent itself, surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Average temperatures in the Antarctic are much lower, as we have already discussed as well. The Arctic has a native human population, for example the Inuits, and a modern human population with over 2 million people inhabiting these areas in the Arctic Circle. But there is no permanent human population in Antarctica. The only people you'll find there are visitors or scientists based at research stations. But let's look at the wildlife in each of these areas. Both the Arctic and the Antarctic are very rich in wildlife. So what I'm going to do is pop a picture of an animal on the screen and I want you to guess whether that animal is seen in the Arctic or if the animal is seen in the Antarctic or if you can see the animal both in the Arctic and the Antarctic. So first of all we have a king penguin. So do we think the king penguins are found north or south? So penguins live almost exclusively in the southern hemisphere, with only one species, the Galapagos penguin, found north of the equator. You would not find penguins at the North Pole, so penguins can be found in the Antarctic. What about a walrus? Walrus are only found in the Arctic. What about a polar bear? So a polar bear is also only found in the Arctic. You would not see a polar bear in the Antarctic. So for that reason, a polar bear and a penguin would never even meet. This is a species of seal called the leopard seal. So where do you think the leopard seal would be found? Do you think it's found in the Arctic or the Antarctic? So the leopard seal is one type of seal species that lives in the Antarctic. The next species is the narwhal, or some people call this the unicorn of the sea. So do you think the narwhal is found in the Arctic or the Antarctic, or maybe both? The narwhal is only found in the Arctic, so it's only found north. What about this sea lion here? Although you can see sea lions in the northern hemisphere, there are no species of sea lion in the Arctic, but there is in the Antarctic. There is the Antarctic sea lion. Okay, the next one, what about the beluga, or some people call it the white whale? The belugas are only found in the Arctic. What about orcas or killer whales? So we know that orcas or killer whales have a worldwide distribution and you can actually see them at either pole. You can see them in the Arctic and in the Antarctic. Although these wouldn't be the same individuals, they would be different populations. What about the humpback whale? So humpback whales again could be seen in the Arctic and the Antarctic but similar to the killer whales these wouldn't be the same animals, they would be different animals that either go to the North Pole or the South Pole every year on their migration. We have another dolphin species here, this is the white beaked dolphin. So do you think the white beaked dolphin is seen in the Arctic or the Antarctic? The white-beaked dolphin can only be found in the Arctic. It's a real Arctic species of dolphin. What about this reindeer? This is the first terrestrial animal we've had a look at. It's an animal which only lives on the land. So do you think that it can be found in the Arctic or the Antarctic? The reindeer can only be found in the Arctic. So terrestrial mammals that can be found in the Arctic include musk ox, reindeer, caribou, hares, foxes, wolves, lemmings and bears, just to name a few. And in the Arctic, the area that they live is called the tundra, 
and this has trees and shrubs in it but in Antarctica there are no tundra, no trees and no shrubs and there are no terrestrial mammals that live on Antarctica. Okay, so to recap, we know that the polar regions are cold, windy and covered in snow and ice. We know the Arctic is around the North Pole and the Antarctic is around the South Pole. And we know there are similarities and differences between both polar regions, but we know they are both rich in wildlife. In the next lesson, we'll learn about how whales, dolphins and porpoises deal with the cold conditions in the Arctic and the Antarctic in these polar regions. So I hope this lesson hasn't made you feel too cold and thank you so much for listening. If you want to learn more about Orca, please do visit our website www.orcaweb.org.uk. Thank you.